Funko made a change to one of the Emerald City Comic Con Funko Pops. What is it? Let's talk about it. Before we get started, make sure you head over to Facebook and join Gastrocast. We hunt together. In fact, it's been made so much easier to join because all you have to do is type gastrocast.com in your browser. It'll take you right there. Today, Funko made a change to the Yoda Funko Pop coming from ECCC 2021. And what is the change, you might ask? Well, they made him into a baby. No, they instead made him no longer a part of the Artist Series. I still don't understand why he was a part of the Artist Series to begin with. So anyway, Funko announced this today on their Twitter. I thought it was sort of a weird thing to announce. I don't even know if anybody cared to hear it. In fact, I don't think the Artist Series would show up on the box. Does it usually show up on the box? Normally, I think they have like the artist names somewhere. Because didn't they put it on like the Futura Vader? For the Futura, yes, but I don't know about the Artist Series. Because I thought I think, that was Well, artist. that's a part of it, but I think there's also other Funko Pops that fall into an Artist Series category. I I know. <laughs> I know. It's so I'm also confused. So the art series actually have an art series logo on the back of the box. So my assumption is that art series will no longer be on it. However, on the post today, it says artist series. I have no idea what's happening with it. This makes no sense. If it makes sense to you, then comment down below and let us know because I know there's Futura or Futura or however you pronounce it. Then I know there's this art series, but now this is artist series. Did you completely check out of this conversation? I I don't know how to like process any of this. So I'm just, that's it. Um, <laughs> you just gave up, you threw on the tail. <laughs> that's, that's all. All right, I'm gonna give up with you. Let us know what you know down in the comments below, I guess. I always thought it was artists. Now I'm finding out it's art. Now I'm finding out it might be on the back of the box or might not be. And was it on the Yoda box? Are they changing the box? <sighs> exactly. I don't know. Okay. Okay. We're done. We're Funko, done. are you drunk? Funko announced that today is the last day of the Emerald City Comic Con 2021 Funko Pops, AKA Virtual Con Spring 2021. Spring Virtual Con 2021. Spring Virtual Con 2021. Virtual Con number one. Six. Six? Seven. Are we just gonna say it's the first one for 2021? I don't know. Virtual Con 1 2021. So before we get into all of the reveals of today, I just want to say that this con has been really awesome. I agree. I like all of the exclusives. There aren't any that just stick out and are complete trash. I think that they gave us a pretty good offering of different types of pops from different types of pop culture. Yes. They picked from all different sorts of places, like 80s cartoons. We have an obscure character from Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, normally Emerald City Comic Con is sort of like, eh, I might like one or two things, but I feel like this one had something for everybody and they were pretty cool. Like a lot of these I would expect to see for like SDCC, because SDCC normally has really good exclusives. I agree. Today started off with an office Funko Pop and it is Dwight as Kerrigan. Now, I have no idea what that is yet. So you haven't seen this episode, nope. but the tie-in is with StarCraft. Kerrigan is okay. a character from StarCraft. He never comes out and actually says he plays the game as far as I can remember, but this totally implies that he knows exactly what the game is. Yeah, I have no idea about anything that you just said. I think that it's a perfect representation of that scene, of him dressing as the character. I really happen to dig this one. Yeah, it's cool. And then we have the deep from the boys. This is one that people have been really caring on about. People are very excited that this Funko Pop is finally coming. Yeah, because wasn't he not included in the first The Boys set? He was not included in the first wave, and now we're finally getting him as an ECCC exclusive. That's interesting. It's so weird how they sometimes break up sets like that. I agree. It is kind of weird, but it makes it cool when cons come around, they have characters that they can throw in. Yeah. So this is a perfect character to throw in, and it's something to get everybody excited. Apparently, all of the boxes, somebody in the... In the Gas Cast We Hunt Together group pointed this out. On all of the flaps, it says the deep. Like on all the Emerald on all City of the comic no, on all the boys characters. Oh, on the boys? Yeah. On the flap? 
on the flap. It says the deep. And he says, is it possible that the name is going to be different for this Funko Pop? I am confused, but okay. Well, I'm just as confused as you are if you're talking about the show V and the character Diana with lizard face. I have no idea what, what V is. I don't either. I know it's a show. I don't know what it's about or anything, but I think that that pop is freaking cool. I think that pop is cool too. It very much reminds me of like 70s sci-fi. So V is a television show from 2009, but it looks like a reboot of a TV show from 1984. So is this pop from the 84 version or the 2000s version? I'm thinking it's from the new one, but I don't know. Um, because there is a photo, what looks like to be the 1984 show with the female character ripping her face off to reveal a reptile. So I don't know. I don't, I have no idea. And then we're getting an Eastbound and Down Kenny Powers. Eastbound and Down is such a great TV show. It's a hilarious comedy that came on HBO. And this is a perfect representation of Kenny Powers. It's him at the pitcher's mound with the outline of his sunglasses. Yeah, it's sunburn. just It's just an amazing Funko Bob. Although I don't collect these, this is something that I would definitely buy. And then we're getting all sorts of Scott Pilgrim things to include two sodas and a Funko Pop. I don't have a clue as to what these are. I see one is Todd Ingram, Matthew Patel, and I'm not sure. Oh, okay, so the female character, Funko Pop, is the drummer from the band. Mm. So I don't know her name, and you can beat me up all you want. I, I just don't. Yeah. Did I tell you that the most recent times I've been trying to watch Scott Pilgrim, like the movie, mm -hmm. I fall asleep every single time? It seriously is like a sleep aid. Yeah, I remember you falling asleep the last, like, two or three times we watched it. It's unbelievable, and I actually really do enjoy the film, but it puts me to sleep, and I can't remember the drummer's name. Could you fall asleep before we see her? This one is awesome. Yeah, so the Garbage Pail Kids Boney Tony is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's sort of a dirty name, but I dig it. Is that a bony in your pocket? Are you happy to see me? <laughs> Is that a bony Tony you got in your pocket? You're happy to see me. Uh, I, so I like the fact that he's unzipping his face and it's revealing a skull. So bony Tony reminds me of something. <laughs> bony Tony reminds me of this guy. He's not filthy at all. Yeah, I know, but it's like his face is like cut to reveal a skull underneath. Yeah. And that's sort of what this Funko Pop reminds me of. I don't collect garbage pail kids, but this is something that kind of interests me. Me too. Yeah, I, I think I might want this one. Um, the other garbage pail kids are cool, don't get me wrong, but I really... Can you like, stop? The other Garbage Pail Kid Funko Pops are really cool, but I like this one. Enough to buy him. I haven't felt that way about any of the other Garbage Pail Kids. <laughs> and then there's a guy named Plumpy. <laughs> Boney Tony and then Plumpy. So a character from Candyland. I don't know much about Candyland. I love Candyland. It was my favorite game as a kid. He falls on the very first special. I called them special spaces. I don't know what they're actually called. But he falls on the very first special space and it has a plum on it. And you, if you pick the plum card, you go to the plum tree. Tree. He's standing there with the plum tree. Oh, okay. So that explains why he has a plum in his hand. Yes, that's a plum. a plum. And then we have Diana, aka Wonder Woman, with the tiara boomerang in her hand, and it's metallic. I, I'll be honest. I, we we have been getting uh, it seems like a lot of Wonder Woman lately. The last Wonder Woman that they dropped at a con was her on the lightning. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a cool one. That was a really cool one. This one just looks sort of lame to me it's like, really sad compared to the last one i didn't i was not a fan of the latest film no like, i really really like the last film but this one the 1984 one mm. horrible mm -hmm. wonder woman fans and rejoice and enjoy it but it this one is uh, i don't like i don't like this one yeah. especially from a film that was pretty much panned probably like 80 percent of the population hated the movie 60 percent of critics liked it Okay. 74% of regular people liked it. Oh my, I was like completely backwards. Yeah. 74% of people liked it? Yeah. Oh my God, I could not stand it. Dead Man and Spectre. These two Funko Pops from DC are super dope. These two characters were in a movie called Justice League Dark. It was an animated film. DC does the best animated films as far as comic book wise. And the movie was really, really good. And both of these characters were in it. I like these two characters, and in fact, this is the very first time I've ever thought to buy DC Funko Pops. I'm not going to buy them, but when I saw them at first, I was like, man, I really like these, especially Dead Man. I just think he looks great. You like him more than the other I one? like him a lot more than the other Really? One. Absolutely. I think he's amazing looking. And last but not least... They saved the best for last! We're getting Diamond Series Vaporium? 
Is that how you Vaporeon. Know? And Charmander. In Pokemon, at least Pokemon Go, I don't know how it is with the cards, but you get you get shinies. Those are not the shiny colors. Oh. So if they did the shiny colors and did Diamond series because diamonds are shiny, that would make so much more sense. That is absolutely brilliant. Yeah, Vaporeon should be like a lavender color. And Charmander should be like a lighter orangey yellow, but okay. most like no, like yeah, orangey yellow. Mm -hmm. I, I like the idea of making the glitter ones shinies. They're running Pokemon into the ground. They're glittering any way that they can. They're glowing in the dark any way they can. They're ten inching any way they can. Whoa. They just want to make as many Pokemon Funko Pops as they can. And it makes me wonder, and this is again just in theory, do they only have rights to certain characters at the moment and they're waiting to get more rights? Or do they not want to spend money on new molds? What is the reason of why we're getting the same Funko Pops over and over? I mean, I know they're trying to make their money off their molds, but man, this is very overwhelming. And for the Pokemon fans out there, I can't imagine how you're feeling. Now you have three different versions of Charmander. No, they had that flocked one. Okay, so now four different versions of Charmander. That's insane. That's proof that Funko just wants to get their money's worth. They flocked a lizard dragon thing. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what did you think about Emerald City Comic Con 2021? Did you see something you liked? What was your favorite? Let us know all of that and more in the comment section down below. If you don't already know, we are now partnered with Collector Zone. And what's even better is you have a chance to win a deluxe Captain Marvel Hot Toys from Collector Zone. Once we hit 5K, we'll be able to select one of you guys out there as the winner. But you have to follow this long list of demands. So you better do it so you can win. You talk about it like it's hard. It's really, really easy. And you probably already do over half the things on that list. Just tell all your friends about Gasocast so we can hit 5K and then, well, do the rest of those things on the list. And then you can win. Follow our demands. All right, guys, that time again. Remember, as always, we are together. Yes, catch you next time. Bye.